Hey, welcome back to the Hang Gliding Files. Uh, today we're going to be showing you kind of a uh, highlight reel of flying sites that we've uh, built up so far and uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, seeing what hang gliding sites will look like in the, the simulators. We'll start by describing what a hang glider site is. It's really just any place in the real world that facilitates the ability to uh, foot launch an aircraft and has a place somewhere within the gliding distance that you can land. And our other criteria is, is that the takeoff area has to be accessible by a nearby road or a walkable trail. And the same thing with the LZ, it has to be within a reasonable gliding distance and uh, the ability to be picked up um, with a car or something as a retreat. That's the bare minimum that we require for a real site. Well, and one of the things that we don't care about is whether or not a site is a legal place to fly. So one of the problems in the real world is uh, it's very hard to uh, get a lot of flying sites because there's uh, landowner issues or access issues insurance issues, all kinds of issues. Um, but we don't care about that in a simulator. Uh, if we know of a site, uh, past or present, that is a good hang glider site and meets our criteria, uh, we're going to include it so that you can uh, maybe even fly some sites that you've always wanted to fly but you just couldn't because uh, somebody with a gate uh, kept you from getting there. So we're going to make it all open in the, in the simulator. Everything I just mentioned does not exist within any simulator. They don't know where hang gliding sites are and they don't uh, facilitate you finding and getting them. Uh, the simulators are built around the concept of a runway or an airport. They need some place to take off and land. Uh, they have taxiways and lights and it's built around general aviation and none of that stuff applies to hang glider sites. What we need is the ability for uh, us as pilots to be able to uh, find and get to specific geolocations within the simulator that support hang gliding. And uh, the hang gliding files, we're building that as a specialized set of applications. One we call the widget, which is a, a menu item that allows you to select from the database of sites from within the simulator and go directly to a site. And the other one is the hang gliding file app, which is external to the simulator and allows you to build and maintain a database of flying sites of your own or uh, share with your friends or share with the world. A hang glider site actually consists of quite a few things. And the uh, first thing is um, one or more setup areas, a place where you can spawn into on a flat place and uh, set up your glider. One or more launches, which can be uh, near the setup areas or on completely different parts of the mountain, different ridges, but they're all considered part of the same site. And the same thing with uh, landing areas. They could be many landing areas um, associated with a given launch or even series of launches. So our app supports all of that and the pilot has their choice of where they're going to start their flight from using the app. Well, any site database that we build has to be uh, big enough and varied enough so that it includes uh, scenes and uh, sites from uh, many different places of many different types like thermal flying and ridge flying, desert flying, beach flying, uh, arrow towing, you name it. Uh, we need to be able to uh, have a wide variety so that everybody um, keeps coming back and having uh, um, 
unique and uh, different experiences, even though they might be flying the same sites. And that's going to be with uh, different kinds of weather and uh, seasons and uh, wind conditions and everything else that uh, is natural to hang gliding. And uh, we want to help that immersion and that simulation by making it um, as real as possible by having as many flying sites as possible. One of the more interesting thing about the flight simulator is even in general aviation, the first thing anybody ever does when they first uh, gets the app and can look, fly around and they see the, the photogrammetry detail that they see is they fly to their house and see if they can see their house. Well, hang glider pilots are going to be, uh, first thing they're going to do is to see if they can fly their favorite site. And uh, so the more uh, sites we have in our database to start, the more that will be facilitated. But of course we can't do that. There's thousands of them, maybe hundreds of thousands of uh, flying sites that need to be done. Um, our job isn't to build all the flying sites. We, we just want to build something that would facilitate the ability for people to build their own sites. And, uh, and then uh, share those sites um, so that we can all uh, benefit by uh, a community driven um, data creation mechanism. That uh, brings us to uh, what are we doing to um, facilitate that. And the hang gliding app is going to allow you to um, uh, use uh, the simulator itself and fly to these sites and then use the locations that your aircraft currently is. Like in this case, I'm using the Velocopter, which is a kind of an electric drone. Uh, it flies slow, lands slow, uh, can hover. And it really is easy to use to land in places where hang gliders would be. And then the app then can read from the um, geolocations being fed it from the simulator as to where that spot is and save it in the database. So by um, using the app in conjunction with the simulator, we can uh, um, just, in essence, fly and click and create some sites. Well, just right out of the box, uh, over 80% of the sites that I've uh, gone to and tried to create a sites work right out of the box. The uh, artificially generated photogrammetry is good enough to create a completely flyable uh, looking site. But some sites have issues, and those issues could be uh, too many trees, which is uh, endemic into Microsoft Flight Simulator, or uh, it could be the slopes are not of the right, um, I don't know, material, or there's too much ground cover. Uh, there might be some other uh, missing landmarks that are uh, very typical on a site, like uh, towers or trees or fences or other things. And also you need um, things like uh, wind socks and telltales and other uh, wind indicators that help uh, you as the pilot figure out how to land and take off and those things don't come naturally or natively in, in the simulator so we're going to have to uh, do something to help facilitate that as well. Our app uh, is also going to have the ability to create uh, a Microsoft scenery package with just a single click for any site and by doing that uh, if you compile that in the developer uh, SDK within the flight simulator, which comes free and is part of every simulator, um, you just push one button and uh, compile it. It becomes part of your simulator and that will automatically put a, a wind socket every launch and every landing. And it also puts in points of interest so that you can, if you turn the points of interest on, it'll show you a marker where the takeoffs and landings are. And you can also then um, use that package as the basis to um, make very specific changes to any site that you want. You could go in to the uh, SDK uh, using our base package and go and move the wind socks around or 
add vegetation or remove vegetation, put buildings on cars, trees, fences, anything you want. And you don't have to be a programmer. It's all point and click. And it's all part of the um, simulator. So we're going to show some of that uh, in the next video, along with uh, how to share um, site information with us and share flight information with your friends. Uh, you don't have to share anything with us. You can keep your database uh, to yourself, but we encourage that people um, submit it. And everything that we build, we're going to put up and make available for uh, download. That'll be uh, the widget app, the database app, our factory default uh, flying sites. Um, we'll update it with new flying sites every time that we uh, have that ability to uh, have a few more. Um, we're going to produce a bunch of um, uh, detailed sites and uh, we'll also have those up and uh, available to everybody as part of uh, things as we go along. Um, and we hope everybody else participates along with us. Well, that's the latest update in our progress of trying to um, get some hang gliding in uh, the modern Microsoft Flight Simulators. What we're hoping for is that the, uh, the site information and the site databases and this ability um, to build up this uh, basically a universal database of hang glider sites that can be used in simulators is not specific to just one um, flight simulator. The database should be able to um, easily connect to any um, sim that has uh, the API for us to either get geolocation information or set the geolocation information of an aircraft. Um, that's all that we're really doing is this aircraft, this database is just that. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, expanding um, the use of this uh, database. Uh, to any sim. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, our progress so far. Uh, if you did, um, I hope you can like and subscribe down below. Um, if you saw a flying site in today's video that you uh, saw an issue with, uh, let us know. Um, if you're looking for a very specific site that you didn't see in our uh, highlight reel here, uh, well, I am still working on a lot more sites, probably a few hundred more. Than what you saw today um, but if you have a very specific site that you're wanting to make sure that gets included in our database um, make comments below or send me an email at uh, the hang gliding files at gmail.com uh, with some uh, information about what i can do to find the site and see if i can get it put in we'd be happy to all right we're going to close by uh, me showing you this is my home site uh, workout mountain where I've done a lot of flying at and it's cool that I'm going to be able to do that uh, in a simulator too. All right guys, we'll see you next week. Oh yeah, remember to like and subscribe or put a comment down below. It really helps the channel and uh, we're just trying to uh, get everybody uh, excited about what's coming up. So. Keep in touch.